Hi, my name is Emily Ainelli with T Girl Angel, and I want to talk a little bit about spoken word. Um, I was actually at a restaurant tonight uh, with other uh, transgender identified individuals and cross dressers. Um, I was actually touched by one of uh, the individuals that I met for the first time, uh, very sweet, who uh, I didn't actually get to talk to, but I was very drawn to her as a person, and I was curious as to why. Uh, and then I realized she wasn't speaking. She didn't say a word. And it wasn't until the, almost the end of the evening that I realized she's mute. She doesn't talk. And it was very poignant because, you know, we were gathered at a restaurant and they do have entertainment. They have artists that perform. So when the waitress came by, I said, oh, by the way, you know, I'm a spoken word artist. And she said, oh, do you have a, uh, are you uh, represented on Reverb Nation? And I said, yes, I have my own uh, page. Uh, actually, I perform as uh, T-Girl Angel. And uh, the girl who I had just met for the night seated at the table um, who I had come to know in that instant of time was mute happened to pull up her iPhone and go to her, her Facebook page and she brought up my profile of T-Girl Angel and she showed it to me and in that instant of time I was truly touched that she knew who I was and then uh, it really made my day uh, that's really all people want is to be noticed you know it doesn't matter the scale of being noticed it's just a matter of being recognized knowing that there are people actually out there that listen to you and follow you and you know, for this girl who's mute to know of me and to show it really touched my heart. And as we were gathering uh, our things and getting ready to leave the restaurant, I approached her. I tapped her on the shoulder and I said, thank you, hon. And I gave her the biggest hug. I just wanted to embrace her and give her a big hug and uh, acknowledge her for what she did for me. And she really made me feel very happy. And she's beautiful. She's such a beautiful person. And you see, we're transgender, we're cross-dressers. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're people. And the sad reality is that we're not well understood by most of society. We're cast aside. We're thought of as uh, deviants or, you know, that we need uh, psychological counseling, which I don't argue. We do. Most of us are in therapy. I've been in therapy for years. But um, it's a fact that people don't like us for some reason, and I don't understand why. Or they're afraid of us. They don't understand us. And it's ridiculous. It truly is ridiculous. Because we're people. We have feelings. We have emotions. You know? And we're not here to hurt people. We don't judge other people. And we shouldn't be judged harshly. 
we're good people. And I met wonderful people tonight. And I had a, I had a tremendous time. And, you know, whenever I go out with my transgender friends, I have much more fun than I could ever have with other people who just don't understand us. And I, the reality is I'd much rather be with my transgender friends and my cross-dressing friends because we're all on the same wavelength. We all understand each other and we all care about each other. And we all come from different walks of life. You know, I met a, a former airline pilot, you know, uh, an attorney, uh, a uh, pharmacist, you know, all different types of people, a chiropractor, just different people, retail, uh, professionals, engineers, CPAs, uh, you name it. And uh, we're no different from you, you know? And I've been on my own path as a recording artist, a spoken word artist. And I would love to be able to get out there and do things and speak my feelings and my emotions and let my voice be heard and engage people and make them think and realize that uh, it's it's very unique to be able to uh, communicate in a way where you just speak words and you create images and uh, you know you speak what you feel and you connect with people that's the main thing having that connection that bond um, music artists connect with their music just like a spoken word artist connects with their feelings and their emotions through their speech what they say and uh, the truth of the matter is, I really am wanting to perform. I want to be out there. I want to develop a fan base as I have. I'm on Reverb Nation. I'm on number one music. And I'm starting to get fan base. I think right now on my number one music, I have about 164 subscribers. And they're from all over the world. Uh, as far as... Uh, Australia, New Zealand, I have in U the UK, Canada, uh, France, uh, all throughout the United States, um, Mexico, uh, South America. Uh, it's just wonderful to have that reach and to be able to touch and influence people. You know, that's, that's why I like to do what I do. I love to write. I love to create. I love to share. And uh, I might get repetitive at times. But it's the beauty of expressing yourself. Do you know what it's like to go through life, most of your life, where you couldn't open up? Where you couldn't, you felt trapped? And you couldn't get your feelings out. And then all of a sudden, at some point in your life, you come to realize that you have to let it out. That you have to express it and communicate it. And that is what I need to do. And that is what I'm doing. And I do it in a healthy way. And I do it in a way where others can be entertained. And I don't always talk about the same topics, same issues. I do many different, various types of recordings and writings. Because I have a desire to write and create. And I can write about going to the beach. Or I can write about going to the uh, amusement park. Riding the carousel. Or I could write a fictional piece that's horror related that will scare you 
uh, because I just love to write and create. And I love to just draw from within and just bring something out of myself. And to share it with people is one of the best things that you can do. Because you know when you have an audience that cares and is interested, it gives you incentive. It motivates you. It inspires you. We all want to be inspired. We all want to communicate. We all have feelings. We, we want attention. That's what life is all about, seeking attention. You want attention. I want attention. You know, we give our children attention. That's what life's, life's all about, is to, you know, find what it is that you like to do and do the best you can at it. And if it's a way to open up and to express yourself, that's even greater. That's wonderful. That's all we want in life, is to be able to share ourselves and express ourselves. Um, that's the beauty of life. You know? When I was at the dinner tonight, people loved the way I look. I have my hat. It made me look nice, you know? I have my new hairstyle. I have a girl that does my hair. She does wonderful. She makes me look good. She makes me feel pretty. And when they saw me in my little cowgirl hat, they said, oh, you look so cute. See, I like to do things. I like to have my own flashy style, my personality. We all want to shine. We all want to come through and share a piece of who we are, you know? I am who I am. This is me, you know? And I like to express it, you know? Uh, I saw this hat and I knew this was me and I had to have it. And that's the beauty of expressing yourself, is that you share a part of who you are, whether it's through your clothes, whether it's through how you express yourself and you're communicating with others, your writings, your uh, poetry, your uh, video recordings, your sound recordings. We all have a, a way that we want to share who we are. And then there are people who are very shy and insecure and they don't want to open up and they don't want to express themselves. And I know those people because I, I was one of those people and I still am one of those people. And believe me, it's not a... It's not a good thing to just bottle up all those feelings within you and keep them inside. It's not healthy. You have to release them. You know, as they say, when you shake up a bottle of soda, you shake it up and then you try to open it, it's going to explode because you've got so much pressure and you've got to ease the pressure. You know, you have to be kind to yourself. You have to just gently ease the pressure. Relax, calm yourself. And what better way to calm yourself than to express yourself in a way that you feel comfortable. For me, I feel comfortable writing. I feel comfortable through my poetry, through my songs through my videos, through my music websites. I love to express myself. And now that I'm transitioning from male to female, my need to express myself has become greater because I'm much happier with myself. I'm happy the way I look. I'm happy the way I feel. I'm happy as a female because that's who I am. I'm a, tr a transgender female, a transgender woman, a spoken word artist, who's transgender, and I am here to express myself, share my life being transgender, share my life raising a son who's autistic, and share life as a person, as a human being with feelings, emotions, and love in her heart. 
I love you all, Emily of Tigrell Angel.